Hello, Jamie from Inky and Scrappy sharing with you today a platform pop-up with a view. So I am starting with my two base pieces for my platform pop-up and I am using a MFT pool stencil. I think it's their pool stencil. It makes it look like water. It's cool. So I just go in with one layer and then I'm going to rotate my stencil and do a second layer and maybe a third layer with the tumbled glass ink. And then as I go, as I get to the third, I think I did three layers. I don't remember. Anyways, I use the salty ocean on like along the bottom where the sand is going to meet and then along the outside edges to add some shading or some darker contrast to it and there we go and I've already masked off my sand on this one I used some Avery label removable label sheets so I don't know it comes in like a pack of 10 or 20 eight and a half by 11 sheets and I just hand cut this one down to size for what I needed and they work really well the only thing to note is that if you do do splattering with water or you get them wet you need to make sure that they dry all the way before you remove them or it will either it like separates the adhesive from the paper on it so it's one of those that I just make sure that it's dry or I peel really slowly if I am not that patient. And I'm just going in with some ink on the top there to blend it so the top isn't stark white on the inside. And then I will pull pull the pull those bottom ones up. I can't talk today. And mask off my water for the sides and then I will come in with some tea dyed ink to stress oxide ink and do my sand and because I didn't mask off the bottom on this one I ended up just making sure that that whole bottom of the box was colored and it looks way better in real life than it does on camera. It's And it is kind of splotchy. I didn't want it to be a full and perfect blend. I wanted it to have that color variation because it looks very much like sand and, you know, it's nature's not perfect. It's got color variations. So that's what it's going for. And so here's where I'm figuring out how to do the inside of the plat platform pop-up box. I know where my, you know, my image is going to be, kind of, sort of. And so I need the base on the bottom there to be the sand, to match my sand. And then the other side is going to have to be all my water. And on my second one that I did, I ended up masking off so the sand comes up a little bit more, kind of like it does around the box, because I didn't think of that when I was doing this part. I'm telling you, when you do things in multiples, it works a whole lot better the second time around. You know, the first one tends to have all of your learning mistakes, or, I don't know, you just learn as you do stuff so it's one of those things so I'm just adding in some shading and then I always go over my images or my stenciling I should say my stenciling when I use the pool thing because otherwise you have the stark white so if you just go over it with a soft a soft hand on the brush with the brush that has the blue on it it just kind of dulls that really white down a little bit and it doesn't seem quite so stark. And so I had cut out using the piece that comes with pop up platform. The piece that is supposed to, is meant for the like a sentiment in the front. And so I used that as my window in the front. 
and I pushed it down as far as I could. I knew I needed some room on the bottom to adhere that acetate sheet, but I also knew that I had that top flap that had to get stuck up there somewhere. So this is me trying to compromise those two things. And so on my second one, I realized after I had started this one, I'd folded the flap that I cut, but I didn't fold the rest of the, the platform pop-up that I needed to fold beforehand, and I really should have. So for my second one, I went through and I scored the whole thing. Top, you know, top to bottom, everything that needed to get folded, I got folded. And I use a really heavyweight cardstock. I either use a hundred and 10 pound Nina or I use 120 pound accent opaque or the 100 pound accent opaque and so by using that heavy of a cardstock it doesn't always fold the greatest and so I fold it the easiest way once and then I fold it back the other way and then I score it or then I use the bone folder to actually crease those lines better and that seems to work well. And I am just taking a piece of acetate here and adding some alcohol inks to it. I'm using a sailboat, blue, some, um, let's see, cloudy blue, stonewash, and then celestial and the alcohol pearl ink. And just making some some colored acetate. And I wonder if acetate would color better if you went over it with alcohol ink first to remove anything that might be on it. It's just a thought. I don't know. But I can never get my pearls to move like Tim gets his pearls to move. They never move like I want them to. Maybe it's the acetate. I don't know. I can't get them to move on the other stuff either. So it is what it is. But it's not clear. That was the whole point of this one is I needed it to kind of look like my my ocean blue there or my water. So now I'm trying to figure out how to do the inside piece and so I realize I need to I want to flip it so my tab actually gets folded towards the back of the box and not the front of the box because it hides it a little bit better, I think, or at least in my head it does. You won't see that that piece of acetate sticking towards the window. It'll be away from the window. And so here's where I'm realizing that this piece is, I mean, I knew it was going to have to get cut. So I'm doing that cut there, figuring, well, if I do, so it has about a quarter of an inch. I didn't measure it, so I'm not exactly sure. But so about a quarter or a little under of a quarter of an inch. And I was like, oh, well, that's still not going to work for my window piece. Well, then I was like, well, if I fold it in half and it didn't show up on the top, I was like, well, I can just, instead of folding it, tucking it in, I have it tucked up or sitting up and then that fold line folds just like normal. Of course, because I was, you know, ahead of the game earlier, I had already put acetate or score tape on that piece, but <sighs> that's what scraps are for. So I'm just adding in my score tape on my piece of acetate. Doing all the things. So the images are from Birdie Brown. I think that's, yeah, Birdie Brown from MFT. They're the otter set. So I, don't, I will list and actually put the name, the proper name on my blog post. And I usually try to do it in the description box below as well. So if you want to know the actual name of the stamp set, I will make sure to put that on there. I just know they're the really cute otters that Bernie Brown that Bertie Brown had from MFT. So when I got the set I had colored a whole bunch and I made a few cards and I had a whole bunch of otter images left. So that's what I decided to use on this one. 
I'm telling you, I'm trying to use up all of those free colored images. I think I'm down to like mm, three little containers now. So I've gotten quite a few of them used up. No complaints. All right. So this is where I'm like, yep, it works. So I was so happy that it worked. It fit. And it still works. So that little piece there. And well, I have the piece that I cut off. So I put that over the top. And then I'm just going to end up picking that rest of that adhesive off using the scissors, the knife, the blade on the scissors to, to kind of score it and scrape it away. And then just using the blue that's left on my blue blending brush to blend it in. And there is the little otter in or under, under the water, under the water. And so for these, I did put them together more than I normally put them together when I do a platform pop-up box. I mean, my first one I put all the way together and then I decorated it, but it tends to be a lot easier to decorate them in halves as opposed to holes. So I went and took my acetate piece and used the Lawn Fawn Stitched Waves borders and cut them at three different heights and then I ended up cutting them straight off kind of staggering my heights or going from tallest leetering I don't know tallest to, to shortest in my box excuse me <coughs> and adding in my little otters as we go here And it would have been cute maybe to put the one that I have diving down in, like, on the background. But I'd have to do it on the inside of that piece in the box. So I'd have had to cut him and figure out where he was going to go before I put them together. But <sighs> hindsight. So I'm just finishing decorating the rest of my outside of my box. I am using up all of the otters today. So <clears throat> there they all are. And I didn't leave enough room for a sentiment on the back or a greeting on the back. So I was like, oh, well, hmm. So I had the little sign already colored from the very special set from Lawn Fawn. And so I was like, well, this will work. I can put it on there. So I found one of the smallest sentiments in the otter set. And I kind of just you know, selectively stamped it and it fit kind of. I couldn't do the U, so I just used the letter U. I mean, you know, it reads the same. Otterly adore you, so it's all good. I think it was supposed to be I utterly adore you, but the I wouldn't fit, so I did what I had to do. I made sacrifices. So then, because I was going to clean up my desk and I still had these three waves, that just didn't have the stitching on them. I was like, well, I'm going to save them because obviously. And then I'm like, well, I still have my ocean shelfie fish that are colored too. And some sharks from Dunna. So, yep, I ended up doing a second one. Let's just say this one went a whole lot smoother than the first one. So that acetate piece I ended up putting a piece of score tape on the bottom there before I cut the the hole out and that way I didn't have to worry about gluing it and that worked a lot better and then I decorated this one I went above and beyond like you know all the extra things because yep I was just shopping my pre-colored stash So I'm kind of trying to figure out, and I thought, oh, because the little Dana set comes with a little shark fin on the waves, and so, or in the waves, above the wave, above the wave, and I was like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. I tried to stick his fin up through the whole thing, and it would have worked, but it just, he just, I would have still had to cut, like, his tail off or whatever. So I was like, well, let's just use the stamp that comes with the set with the fin. So that's what I ended up doing. And I will just decorate from there. 
And I do end up, I think I placed his fin on this one. And then after I was all done, I was looking at it. I'm like, well, his fin is like either way too, I think it was too far ahead on his body or too far behind on his body. And I was like, oh, that just looked funny. So I, because it was acetate, I could just pry it off and set it in a better spot. So I also found some little die cut glasses when I was shopping my stash. And so, yep, we have an octopus with glasses. Isn't that adorable? I think I have to go in and add some glossy accents to his lenses, though. Because they just look like they need some glossy accents. <sighs> Probably to the camera lens, too, since I've got them out. So I am just going in and adding some acetate pieces on these pieces because they really didn't have a whole lot sticking to the acetate on the waves and so I wanted to give them a little bit more support and just adding some acetate picks works really good for that and then there's me and you know I don't know why I don't put a big sheet of score or big you know I had a big piece of acetate that I was cutting my picks off of or from, I'm like, well, why don't I just put acid or less score tape all the way across the bottom of one of them. And then when I cut, then I just have to figure out, you know, like my height. <sighs> Silly girl. I'm telling you. Things go way better after, you know, I've done it 5,000 times the wrong way. But so I'm just finishing decorating that up. So let's see, what is going on on the farm? We had baby kitties the other day. So if you follow me on Instagram at Inky and Scrappy, I don't share a lot of stuff, but I did do a video of the kitties the other day because they were just born. So mama was pregnant on Thursday morning when I fed her milk and cat food, and she was not pregnant when I got there for chores Thursday night. So we knew that she had our kitties somewhere and we figured she had them by the hay bale because that's where she always has them. And so once we know that they're there, then we watch for them. But yes, I got to see them. They're cute. And they're so tiny when they're, they're babies. They grow fast. And so here is the finished ocean shelfie card and the finished otter card. And I think I have stills of all of them for you here. So there is the otters again. And then these I will probably just write the message on either the bottom of the box or put an extra card in the envelope. And so there it is. And you can actually see the images on the inside of the ocean shelfie one way better in real life. The camera doesn't get them all. But thanks for watching and I hope you subscribe.